languages. But besides that, she was also one of the first pilots in the subcon. My parents both trained at UCLA as in theater. Uh, they went back to Pakistan because the country was young, and they wanted to make a difference in their own field. Uh, my father became uh, the Secretary General of Pakistan Arts Council, was the principal of the Television Training Institute, was the Director General of National Council of the Arts. My mother, on the other hand, uh, worked for Radio Pakistan for 37 years, created many programs, and is still known because of her voice uh, all over the country, which is great because uh, people won't know her face, but they know her voice, which is crazy. And in this case, uh, there was no voice. But, uh, uh, and they did, they did all this while they performed hundreds of plays on television and on stage. And they raised three kids. And I am the oldest of the three. There's one more coming some because my brother's on his way. Late in Pakistani fashion. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was born in Los Angeles uh, when my parents were studying here. I grew up in Pakistan. I came back to the United States with the ambition of majoring in econ and business from Berkeley. And as charming as econ can be, uh, I always found myself deep in the bowels of Zerubak Hall, which is the drama department. And just hanging out the drama club. And thus started this, this kind of attraction uh, to theater, which I had a history of, but had never really ventured into. And slowly that, that little attraction turned into, blossomed into a full love affair. Um, I was in school. I went on half-heartedly trying to be trying to keep my mind and my heart separate. My mind kept saying, do the econ, do the business, do this, do that. My heart kept saying, go to the theater, go to the theater, go to the theater. And eventually, I realized that I must follow my heart. The heart won. And that's what I ended up doing. I, for a time, I was very conflicted. I wrote to my parents uh, to get their blessings, and I thought, given their own background, <laughs> they would be totally supportive. <laughs> and they begged me to do anything else <laughs> but this. <laughs> which, um, which was a little, well, let's, let's be honest, was a little disappointing to me because I really wanted this. But what they were trying to do was they were questioning my motives, why I wanted to. What they wanted to see was that is it what my reasons are? Is it to, to feed my ego or does it go deeper? And I think when I look back in retrospect, I am very grateful that they had me do this soul searching. They had me look into myself and figure out why I wanted to do what I wanted to do. What they wanted to see was that if I take this journey, will I be able to keep my core intact because of the hard road that it is, the rejection, the, the struggle, all of that. And it is a journey that I was about to take in a country where I had no name. So looking back, I realized that as a parent now, no parent really wants their kid to end up a broken person. So what you want is to make sure that they have the, the makeup to go forward and not lose themselves while they're trying to achieve something. 